as he said, I was married for 66 years. And uh, some people took my chicken on the side. I didn't have no chicken on the side, no girlfriend either. I had a three in one. I had a girlfriend, I had a love, and I had a wife. And I thought that I had to be in church every time the doors were open, but the Lord spoke to me and he said, the church is my bride, but your wife is yours. And I start taking money off and made her queen for a day. She didn't have to do anything. She didn't have to cook breakfast, dinner, or lunch, or nothing. Sometimes she didn't have to make up the bed, because I did that for her. Then the men used to call me, boy, you just hen pick. I said, that ain't no, no problem, as long as you being pecked by the right hen. And then I told him, if you got a good peck, I'll let her peck you. I'm trying to help your brothers out here. And then they told me, man, you are, uh, uh, I wear the paints in my house. I wear the paints. I said, I do too. All of them she put out for me Saturday night to put on Sunday morning. And I'm going to get to my message, but I don't want to, I'm, I'm on the lady side, because see, men want to be macho. They feel like if they shed a tear, they, that's the weak. No, 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 that, 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 that ain't it. That ain't it. See, and, and brothers... I know this uh, uh, meeting, but if y'all help me, see, you got to be happy in the home, too. I don't want nobody hypocrite in the house and trying to preach to me in the church. So now, if you have a good wife, treat her like she your wife, that she your honey, that she your baby, that she your sugar, and that she your sweetheart. If you got a good wife, she can be anything to you you want her to be. And women's like compliments. Come on, sister, y'all got to get rid of me now. When your wife get ready to come to church, you, you, you at a certain time you want to leave the house, she'll put on her clothes and she'll look, come to you and say, how this look? You, you just, <clears throat> she fit to go change again. She put on another dress, you holler, <clears throat> she fit to go change again. When she put it on and come in time, stand right and you see, how this, this look? You better say, baby, you look good in that. And then you fit to get out the house. <laughs> if you got a good wife, she dressed to please you, right. not anybody else. Right. It's not concerned, a good wife is not concerned about any kind of man trying to hit on her. Right. She want to hear it from you. We did a lot of seminars, too. I'm going to tell you one more thing to do. Don't forget about your wife. Never think about her. If you got a girlfriend, you're always trying to show out for your girlfriend. You know, she, rather your little pennies in your pocket and whatnot. 
Show out for your wife. I'm all right, bro. Show out for your wife. Now, the way you show out for your wife, you go to the drugstore, buy one of them mushy cards, and then when you buy that card, you put your mush on it. Sweetheart, sugar baby, you know, all like that, you know. And then you put a piece of money that you got to know your wife, cause there are three places she's gonna go to before she get in the bed. She's going to the mirror in the bathroom, and she's gonna make sure she got that little cream or whatever on her face to make it look good. And she's gonna go to the mirror when she come in the house to make sure her hair good and put on a little sleeping cap. And she's gonna go there and have a card right there. And then you have another, this is the big card right here. You take one and you put a big piece of money under that one and you put it under the pillow. And now is here's the last one. When she turned that pillar back and opened that car with all that good talking, mushy stuff, and that big bill in there, you ain't got one more thing to do. Look up to heaven and say, Lord, give me strength.